Uh, yep. Yeah, all right. We're rolling. Yeah. Okay, feel free to start whenever. Uh, hello. My name is Gary, and I am one of LeBron James's best friends. So, how long have you known LeBron? Oh, God, I've known him for, what is it now, like four years, I think? Yeah, that long? Yeah, yeah, it's been a great time these past couple months. M months? Years. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, years, yeah. So, how did you meet LeBron? I mean, where else do you meet LeBron James in the courts, of course? Um, you got to play basketball with the LeBron James? N no, I mean, well, yes, I have played basketball with LeBron, but uh, no, I may, I mean, I mean, like, I met him in an actual courthouse, like in the courts. Really? Uh, tell me about that. Well, uh, we ran into each other, literally. It was a whole thing. Uh, and, I mean, just since then, we've hit it off. We've been best friends ever since. So why were you at the courthouse? I mean, LeBron has always been there for me. Uh, ever since we met, we've had a really solid relationship. He always calls me if he feels sick. I, I mean, like, bad. Um, and I, I always call him, too, uh, if he wants to talk or anything like that. He's, he's just super great like that. Uh, he's been a really significant part of my life. You just, you have no idea. There is one weird thing about LeBron, though. It's, um, his glow. His glow? I mean, you just have to see it to believe it, but, uh, he, he tries not to let anyone see it. No, like, what do you mean, his glow? He's really, really particular about who knows about it. Well, can you tell us what you mean? Not with the cameras on. All right, it, shut it down. Shut, shut it off. All right, everything's off. LeBron has always been one to chase a competitive edge. Uh, a couple months ago, a years uh, back, he went to some country in Asia, or, or somebody from there invited him with the promise of a substance that could increase his athletic ability tenfold. Whoever it was, they said, uh, they said that a free test would be given to him if he so chooses. Uh, and LeBron, being the spontaneous and quirky guy he is, he went. He was gone for about a month, uh, and he missed a couple of trainings too, but when he finally got back, it didn't seem like he cared. He was determined that whatever he did, whatever medicine or substance or whatever they gave him, uh, I actually, uh, I know what it is, but what I, hold on, hold on. What is it? Can you tell us that? Why do you care so much? I, I'm just, I'm just curious, I swear. Okay. Well, give me a second. LeBron got back, and he believed that it worked. And I mean, his training sessions showed it. He wasn't the same, though. Something was different. Nobody could go in his room, his closet specifically. He wasn't talking as much. He became less expressive. Suddenly, the LeBron that I knew was gone. I don't know how else to explain it, but just gone. He still communicated and functioned in his day-to-day -day life, but he didn't look good. I mean, like healthy, you know? I don't think he knew we could see, but we could. His skin slowly started flaking away. Like he was still there, but but less, he wasn't whole. He was like some 
sort of costume, a suit with somebody, something eating its way from the inside out. At a certain point recently, as you, I, as you, was, I assume you know, he locked himself in his room and he won't come out and he hasn't answered. No, he's not dead. I, I, we can hear him inside, but nobody can get in. And nobody can get out. I mean, I'm not worried. I mean, I am, I'm worried for him. I, I just, I don't know what's going to happen. And just, it's a concerning situation. Okay, uh, I think that's enough. Gary Gill, you're under arrest for the murder of LeBron James. What the hell? I, Gary, I Gary, didn't do anything. Gary, you have the right to remain silent. No, I, I'm waving my right, okay, or whatever. Murder? Did you just say murder? Yes. We found his body in the road outside of his house. Filled with a brain with flesh-eating bacteria that was traced back to you. Murder? Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that imply that the victim is dead? Keeps his dribble somehow, Irving back to Jay! Oh, he throws it down! 16 to shoot, lock to LeBron! LeBron James is the best basketball player I've ever seen. Oh, the crowd on their feet. That's what they came to see. If nothing else happens, they're happy now. You feel a lot less pressure this finals run just because you are undermanned and you had some injuries uh, as opposed to previous years? Nah. I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world.